Well, here's a preview of today's show, uh, Row and Low, with our friend Fairy Vixen at 3 p.m. Central. I'm um, just giving a quick preview of some of the items I'll be showing today. There's a lion with some light colored amethyst. It's a lot of vintage and unique. Um, there's a gold box filled with, well, it's not filled, but it, I might be filling it with more. Um, I've had a lot of comments on this piece. There's the sterling silver with aquamarine stones. Abalone earrings. Brand new Avon in a box. Some statement necklaces. So many pretty things, you guys. Reconstituted turquoise on wire. Copper. Lots of copper. This is a Monet copper bracelet. This is white gold. It's an Amco piece. Some vintage old cloisonne. A lot of brooches. A lot of name pieces. Gorgeous. Coro. Several pieces of coro. But <clears throat> a lot, like I said, lots of brooches. Check out my eagle necklace. I'm finally going to be putting up for sale. It's a statement piece. It's just... Um, Base metal. It's a, uh, a set of J. Crew that's really lovely. Gold tone, silver tone, sterling silver, labradorite, and lapis. Stainless steel setting. Some brooches. More copper. More coro. Let's see. What else? Oh, and some really cool brooches. Got two in that color. Oops, that's upside down. Really pretty clamper. Brass tone. A lot of cool pieces, you guys. I have sterling silver earrings that match this. The chain is stainless steel, though. Saks Fifth Avenue crystal. Um, just a costume piece, but very nice, like a wedding set. Gold and silver tone. Brighton. Unique pins. This is really old. It's got a little damage right there. More brooches. This is unique. I never was able to test this, see if it's sterling. I do believe it was sold to me as sterling, and I and they said this was turquoise, but I'm pretty sure that is halite. <laughs> it's all good, though. Uh, you know, you live and learn. <clears throat> Japan. Marked. Let's see. What else can I show? Oh, there's a critter necklace. It's a squirrel. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's Holding an acorn. This watch is very nice. It needs a battery, but I am going to be selling it without the battery. This is a, I believe, 40s piece and or an antique. That is not silver. It does look silver, or with tarnish, and, and it looks gold. I don't know if my testing uh, chemicals are old. It did not test. Um, but that was a long time ago. Here's the matching sterling earrings for the Holland piece. Some more vintage. This is a, a pendant. It's a little rough. It's definitely probably handmade. It looks brass, but it could be copper. I don't know. But it's pretty cool. Another unique copper piece. Let's see, some random, you know, goodies. Another sterling silver ring, I believe, with diamond chips. I do not have a diamond tester, but I'm pretty sure those are. It's been a while, so I can't recall. 
this is white gold or um it's a vintage ring i can't remember but it's like one slash 20 type thing um i have um oh what are they this is a really neat brand renrar i think um some Betty Boop earrings, which I may be giving away as a prize. But that's it for now, you guys. So that's what you're going to be seeing today at the Row and Low show with our friend Very Fairy Vixen. Sorry, um, <laughs> still asleep. But anyway, that's oh, and I forgot I had a couple of cool necklaces too. Abalone, I think it's three strands, and. This is a cool piece. This is like new. I got some of these just recently from a lot of my friends on YouTube. And I'm reselling some of it. This, I've never been able to test. To me, it looks real. I know it's vintage. But there you go. I can't wait to see you guys. Take care and stay blessed.